all everyone Muy else's demo. head was on the chopping block, I was going to be given a ticket to go to New York and start broadcasting from New York. Now, I was aware that it was a done deal. Everyone else had their fingers crossed, and with the <clears throat> ratings taking such a nice uptick, people thought, well, you know what? I think uh, maybe we've bought ourselves another few months. Um, that's not the way this business works, or how it works, at least in this case. CBS had decided to do this in 08 and just write it off, as yeah, I was the, discussing Yeah, the wheels were yesterday. in motion, and you couldn't stop them. Right. I was in the uncomfortable situation of actually knowing that today was the last day we were going to be on the air. The only reason I was privy to that information is because of the discussions of going to New York. They had to let me know what was going on. I, for a number of weeks, had to sit here and watch Jack Silver pop his head in the office and say, hey, we just got we another uh, trend in from the from the uh, portable people meter and things are on the uptick and then have Mike Lynch talk about how we were going to tabulate the votes this year for March Madness yeah. Madness. Yeah, you did seem <clears throat> uninterested. I normally, normally I, I seem removed, but this was uninterested, right? But that must have been very <laughs> difficult because and to your credit, you didn't try to make us believe that things were good. Mm -mm. You gave us a few little hints without violating the trust of CBS and telling us but it was obvious the mood wasn't great. Well, I, I didn't want Mike to work too hard on the brackets for March Madness. <laughs> Seeing as how we weren't making out of out of February and I was aware of it. Didn't want the kid to burn too many calories. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> I knew what was going on. Um, I played it close to the vest because that's what the uh, boss has told me to do. A um, so couple of weeks later, the New York offer was pulled off of the table. Muy so demo. my, um, what would have been a great dilemma for me to decide whether to move. And a lot of my decision of deciding whether to move would have been based on you, you all and your all decisions about whether you wanted to move to New York. Uh, it was now null and void. It was now pulled off of the table and <clears throat> they're doing some flipping over there as well. <laughs> I hope they're aware of it over there because I'm talking about it now. Yeah. I was told, I was told Muy that everyone's demo. aware of what's going on, and uh, I'm not mentioning this specific station for a reason. Um, so CBS is making sweeping changes. They're flopping and flip-flopping formats, and uh, we have gotten caught up in that. Now, uh, as I've said, no one should hang their head because everyone did their job. Uh, the ratings are fine. The shows are well-received. The uh, victims here are the people who don't have contracts. Oh, yeah, the victims are the affiliates who have lost a good morning show that has been a good, uh, a, a good ratings earner over the...